previously on Dance Moms. Ever since the mini showed up, Abby has been all over the place. I am hysterical. And I have a huge legal issue going on. I'm finished. We received an email that she's resigned. What? Get out of here. I think if Debbie Allen offered and we don't have a place next week, we could rehearse at her studio. Bryn did an outstanding job. She led the group to victory. And I'm going to keep her around. You're pathetic. Karma's a bitch. What goes around comes around. You're absolutely right. Coming up on Dance Moms. This show has to go on. I mean, why? We just need to find another place. Leave. Go. You didn't bring costumes. You don't do your job. She doesn't want what? us here. Did you say that? She did. Let's go to Debbie Allen. I don't feel the joy. Lonnie is not as good as she used to be. Go f yourself. You don't want to be here. Just go home. This is why she's a pathetic piece of First place goes to Living on the Dance Floor. Hey. I love that you have cute boys working for you, always. Oh, I love how you do that to your hair. It looks like rollers, but not. So when you take it out, it's all, your color's great. Here we are at dance. Everybody's ready to go. Abby's not ready. She's got curlers in her hair. She still has her pajamas on. It's midday now, mind you. We don't have time to waste. Are you coming to play? No, I'm not working anymore, so. Um, oh, golly. This ongoing incident that needs to be addressed. I, I know. It has nothing to do with the routine. They have to dance because the show has to go on. I mean, why? I know Abby is overextended. She's got a ton going on. She's dealing with legal issues that could land her in jail. But this is not fair to our kids. Which Abby is going to show up? Is she going to be happy and want to teach? So, Tame, put the turn in. Got that? <laughs> is she going to be mad and sit in her bedroom? Get out of here! Which Abby is going to show up? We're here to, to see out, see through what we've started. You can't go out on the bottom. You have to go out on top. All right, let me ask you this. Can you find a way, Jill, in that little brain of yours, can you figure out a way to completely discourse the federal government's perception of me holding $170,000. How can you fix that? Well, that's I don't... what needs fixed. These mothers have no clue. I was not put on this earth to be at their beck and call for their daughters. I have problems of my own to deal with. And sometimes they have to take priority. So what's the problem? The problem is that there's no respect, none, for the damage done OK, but we did not do that. The girls did not do that. And that's like what's taking like the brunt of it right now. Let's go do the dance. Let's go do yeah, the Who cares? I have a right in this country not to work for you. You know what? Do you want to go to Debbie Allen's studio? That's the other option. OK, that's fine. That's fine with you? That's not going to make you happy. Please. Go! So if you don't want us here, we just need to be... find another place. We're trying, Abby. I don't think I her studio. We are, we are ALDC right we now. We are here. This but is... you keep we're pushing here everyone and we're away. We're here for you. Go! These kids love the studio. Can All I tell right, you something? I'm gone. To hear Abby say we should leave is a slap in the face. We don't have to take what Abby's giving us. That's not the dance teacher I signed up for. Honestly, Abby, we want to be here. I know those moms want to be here. Abby, I think you should come out and be with your kids. So we'll give you a minute, and then we'll see you in a little bit. I know. It's hard to see you like this. You shouldn't have to be like this. You know, we love you, And Abby. you're strong, you know? <laughs> then walk away. You'll you get know, through everything. I mean, then walk away. Abby's been with all of our girls since they were minis. I know deep down in her heart, she really doesn't want them to leave. I'm hoping that if we give Abby some time to collect herself, she will want to come out and teach our kids. Is, is she dressed or? You know what you looked like at about 7.10 this morning? 
that's what she looks like right now. Just not ready for the day. Did you just teach them this? Yeah. It's really good. These kids are freaking amazing. We the do. theme is steampunk. Like industrial, mechanical, uh -huh. grungy. Our group dance this week is entitled Well Oil Machine. And thank God Abby has already given Gianna direction and choreography so that she can teach the girls until Abby decides to come out and be with her team. So where are we going this weekend? We're going to Phoenix. I'm worried about going to Phoenix. There's a lot of good dancers. There's a lot of good studios. And let's face it, with Abby and deciding whether she wants to teach or doesn't want to teach, we're not off to the greatest start this year. Like, this could be our first really big competition, and we need a win. Gee, who has salt? Do you know the who has what? It's Bryn and Kalani, for, first of all. And then it was supposed to be Maddie because, because she was supposed to be back this week. But because she's not back in time, we'd rather her be in the group. Maddie's supposed to be here right now, but she's filming her final scene for the movie. So she's going to meet us in Phoenix to learn the group dance and be back on the team for the rest of the season. We're going to see Kira this weekend. That's good. good. Now, does she know Ashley's still with us? Mm -hmm. Weren't there some nasty texts being shot back and forth from Not you two? Not from me, all from her. What's she pissed about? Somebody told her that I was talking about her all day. And then she sent me all those horrible texts. Kira and I are both from Phoenix. Our kids grew up dancing at the same studio. I get that Kira has a baby at home, but she wasn't even committed before she had a baby. And I know she's threatened by me being here because Kira knows that I know so much about her. I guess my question is, when we get to Phoenix and Kira shows up, what's going to happen with you two? I don't know. Oh, God. I don't know. I know Ashley and Kira have a lot of drama between the two of them. Lonnie well, got to the point she is because of Kira manipulating behind the scenes. Don't sit there and lie like a bitch. But we already have a lot of drama with Abby not wanting to teach our kids. I sure hope when we arrive in Arizona that those two can keep it together so we can stay focused on the dance. Guys, let's review from the top. So another day without Abby. God, this is driving me nuts. Holly, what do we tell the children? By this point, I am very much prepared to follow up with a conversation when, with Debbie Allen and to see if she'll let us use her studio. For sure. She picked them out of the studio this week. We had to find another place to rehearse. No, well, you should tell us. We'll let you come here if you need to. Tell somebody to call me. Okay. I mean, this attitude of no passion, you don't care this week about if we're here or not. Yeah. It's, oh, it's, it's stupid. Awful. Let's go to Debbie Allen. I don't want to beg Abby to do her job. Maybe we should go someplace else and really take you up on your word. Hey, hey, girls, Kendall, you guys, come on out. All of you. She can come, too. These kids need to know the fact that Abby can't come out and do her job, it's not their fault. It's none of these kids' fault. They deserve better, and Abby's not giving it to them. Can you guys have a seat just for one minute? OK, so. Abby didn't want us here two weeks ago. She has said how many times, I don't want to be here, I don't want this, I don't, I don't want it. How would you guys feel if we went to a different studio? But why would we leave our studio? This is our studio, like, when we go to competition, our back is going to say Abby Lee, and we're not even here. Because she doesn't want Boy, us here. Yeah. Did she say that? She did. Tomorrow. If we get here and the doors are locked, that will mean she doesn't want us here. What do you guys want to do? If we don't have a teacher that wants us, let's go find a teacher that wants us. We have Gia. Then we should rehearse somewhere else because we already started to dance and we have a competition and we should be prepared. And we don't want to just keep on wasting time. Just want to dance, so same. We sense their frustration, their questions. They just want to dance. And a true dance mom is not going to sit by and be passive. We have to take action and do what's in the best interest of our girls. Hi, you reached the Debbie Allen Dance Academy. Hello, this is Holly. Are you guys excited to be 
here? Or are you a little apprehensive? Or I think Abby left us really no choice at the end. Yeah. I mean, back and forth and back and forth. Is she coming? Isn't she? You know what? I think we made the right decision. I really do. Yesterday was a tough day for the team, and we tried reaching out to Abby even today, and she's still refusing to work with our girls. I'm happy that Debbie Allen is opening her doors to us because the ALDC right now is not the right place for our girls. And right now, our girls need a place to rehearse and to work. So wait, Kalani's doing what? Contemporary? Contemporary. And then Brin's, Brin's doing lyrical? It's more lyrical, yeah. But we are doing the costumes, right? So she didn't give you guys the costumes? No. If Abby's not coming, she's not going to give us costumes. So we need to figure something out, and we need to do it quickly. What if we call Kira and see what she has there at her studio? Does she have dance work? Hi, Mom. I actually have something. Call her and see if she has Let's stuff that we can use. She has a little store, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hey, Kira. We are having trouble finding group dance costumes. Do you have anything in your store, anything that we could wear for the group? It could be simple or whatever. Yeah, I'm sure we do have that, but I think just depending on what color. Southern black. Just like a muted color. Or it's in, like an industrial dance. Then he sizes. OK, we'll text them. OK. OK, thanks, okay. Kira. Bye. OK, Bye. kiss your baby. Well, we need to let the girls um, yeah. rehearse, so. Bye. All right, G, thanks. We'll get out of your hair. Our group this week is called Well-Oiled Machine. And that's exactly what we are. We found another rehearsal space. We found someone to provide costumes. All of this is getting done, no thanks to Abby. All right, ready, Brim? Mystical beauty. Regardless of all the fast stuff and all the changes that we're going through, it's still pretty. I'm so excited that I get to perform in my hometown of Phoenix this weekend, but there's a lot of pressure on me. I know that Maddie is returning to the team for good, so I have to beat Kalani to prove that I can be a permanent member of this team. It's going to be tough. Better. We need to pull out all the stops this week. So what is the sentiment? I mean, I thought I was, you know, coming to dance for Abby. That was what we thought we were doing. And that I hasn't been what it is. In all due respect, you're lucky if Abby doesn't come this weekend. Why? Because I think Kalani is going to wipe the floor. And I think Thank Bryn's going to get shown up. And I think it'll be better for you if Abby doesn't really see it in person. Bryn does well all the time, you guys. She has the best record so far on the team. What? But she's come through every time she was asked to do something. You have sat here for the last four weeks saying Bryn has the best record. And we're just saying, be prepared. Well, she does. Kalani hasn't had a solo yet. That so wasn't up to me. And Maddie beat your daughter. The last time we were in Phoenix, Kalani won the Super Belt champion of the dance competition. That's a big deal. That's her hometown. Though. That's why Lonnie is not as good as she used to be. Oh, that, that wait, what? You don't Lonnie think? was amazing oh a couple she, of years ago. I think she's amazing. <laughs> she's not. You don't want to say I think that. you're alone on that island. I mean. I'm really not. Who does Ashley think she is? Kalani is the same amazing dancer she always has been. It's going to be tough for Brenda Wynn. There's a lot of talented kids in Phoenix. I hope Ashley isn't writing a check that her mouth can't cash. This is for the first time your mom has seen you dance in forever. Mm -hmm. Don't blow it. I'm super excited that I get to compete in my hometown this week. It's been so long since I've seen my mom, and I really miss her watching me dance. So hopefully I can pull out a win for her. You did forget something. After the arch yeah, round, this. this. Ball change, hold, OK. Go over there, figure everything out. Yes. Arizona star. <laughs> Hi. Oh my god, how are you doing? <laughs> Good to see you again, too. Hi. You guys did so great in the Hi. Hi, I'm JoJo. JoJo, Debbie yes, Allen. I'm Kendall. Kendall. It's really cool that I get a chance to meet Debbie Allen. She has a huge name out there in the dance world, and it is amazing that we all get the experience to dance at her school and for her to give us advice. Well, I'm happy that you guys are here. And we have a lot of gratitude for you letting us be here today. Oh, no, I'm a happy. Lot. I'm mm -hmm. happy to be able to fill in while you're waiting for Miss Abby. I know she'll be back. She's been with you guys a long time. Mm -hmm. 
and she's helped raise you. And so that's a good thing. So, all right, well, let me see what y'all got. Come on. You guys wanna, okay. go, you guys wanna go from the top? Yeah. I'm just in awe to be in the presence of Debbie Allen. I mean, she's an icon. She is a living legend in the history of dance. You can feel that positive energy. You can feel that sense of commitment. She's taking the time out of her schedule to be with our girls. And their own dance teacher couldn't do that. That's nice! Good job! Wow. OK. That was pretty so you've been working someone. how long? Since when? Yesterday. Yesterday. OK, you know, it's very, very evident that you work together as a group. And I guess it's about deciding what is the narrative. Do you know yet? Yes. OK, so what it is <laughs> is it's like an object person that's half machine. You're a machine that is human. Yes. That's what you are. OK. This is why dancers make the best actors, because we don't have words. We have our bodies and our faces to tell the audience and how we move, what are we talking about. To dance is to be powerful and to be very godlike. I, I just think it's one of the most incredible arts to study, and it gives you power. So when you dance, you have to dance with that kind of power. I think Debbie Allen and Abby are very opposite dance teachers, choreographers. Abby is always screaming at the kids. Debbie Allen talks to the girls. She's very inspirational. I love that. I think it's great. All right, who's got a solo? Don't be scared. Uh, I have a solo. All right, let's see him right quick. Come on. Arizona Star. Beautiful. You have such control over your instrument. You have such an incredible gift. Thank you. Yes, that was thank great. You so much. Yeah. Beautiful. Who else has a solo right quick? All right, come on. Maybe just do like a little section. A little part. Just do it. Just do it. I'm not gonna do the whole thing. I'm gonna forgive it. Just do a little section. That was a little preview. <laughs> OK. So, you know, you have beautiful legs and feet. I don't feel the joy. There's no joy. Where is that? It would make you more powerful. It would make me pull into you and not just say, oh, she's got great legs and feet. Because, you know, that's not the, that's not the thing that makes a dancer really the best. Ashley, did you hear that? Bryn has no emotion when she dances. Debbie Allen said it. Everybody has said it. Bryn is boring. It's really, really nice. So how many rooms? Five. Is this where our kids are going to be? Yeah. Today, we're at a Dodge, Kira's studio in Phoenix, Arizona. It's nice to see Kira again. She's been home caring for her newborn baby, but now she's back here with us. Plus, Maddie is back permanently. We have our complete ALDC team now. Competition's tomorrow. This is it. This is our last chance at cleaning, at getting it together. I hope they can pull it off. You're off on the line. Do this with Kendall. You guys are opposite on that part. Oh, yeah. You know, Abby didn't show up the other day, right? Yes, yeah. I know she didn't so show up. We, is she uh, here, though? Here. She's here, but not here. Oh. She's in town. She was on the uh, plane with us. Is, she's yeah. at the mall. Um, she's getting her hair done. Actually, she told us, she... Um, are we in first class with Debbie Allen? She brought it all on herself. She told us to go We there. told her we didn't want to go. We're here for you, Abby. The kids are here. We're ready to go. Go to Debbie Allen's. We're like, OK. OK. Call okay. your bluff. Okay. We're yeah. gone. For a grown woman, Abby is acting like a complete baby. She is so upset that we went to Debbie Allen's studio, even though she told us to. I can't believe she flew all the way to Arizona to pout and throw insults at us on the airplane. Who does that? A big baby. You know, also, I think that she probably is scared to come to Arizona because she knows that 
There's a lot of good dancers in Arizona. I mean, obviously, you just got to do them in the room, so. Well, not according to Ashley. Ashley said Kalani wasn't good anymore yesterday. No, she didn't, but she did say. To a period of time where she wasn't as good as she used to be. She said she's not as good as she used to be. And then this year, she's getting back to where she was. When she left her training to come to the team, she did go through a hard time, but she bounced back real quick. It has been really hard to be away from Kalani for so long, but I had to do what's best for the family and take care of my newborn son. I just wish while I was gone, Ashley wasn't talking about my child. Ever since Kalani and Bryn started training together in Arizona, Ashley has been so jealous of Kalani. Ashley, you can talk all the you want to, but if you try and start stuff at competition, you're going to regret it. Abby's here. Is she? Yeah. She showed up. Let's go Let's get her. Let's go get her. Oh, you didn't get your hair done. I did get my hair done. Oh, sorry. I got my lips done. Well, rehearsals have started, Abby. Are you going to come inside to do rehearsals? Hey. Debbie Allen does not need my help. She has other. Well, Debbie Allen's not here. We but just she used didn't, her she studio. She didn't choreograph anything. She just she talked. She, well, but we didn't ask that of her. Abby, Abby, I don't think you should be in the right to call anybody lazy at all. Abby, did you come all the way to sit in the car, or are you going to come in? I mean, you did fly here today, right? Are you going to come in, or is this the plan? I came to go get my eyelashes done. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to get some lipstick on, I'm going to I'm not talking right. anymore. We'll see you in there. We'll see you in. Just being obnoxious. Why show up to sit in your car and eat lettuce wraps? Seriously. Stay in your hotel room and do that. Why leave LA with all the best hairdressers in the world to come here to get yours done? That makes no sense. Nor does it make sense to be sent no, as I mean, a team to go to another dance studio either to Well, train. just yesterday, Debbie Allen was there. She was engaging. She was giving corrections, giving praise. The kids were wide-eyed, like, listening, hanging on her every word. The Abby that I knew would speak about dance in very similar ways as Miss Allen did, but it seems like money has somehow corrupted her, so she's only fixated on the money and not the artistry. Yeah. She's lost her passion. Her passion now isn't dance, it's the almighty green dollar. Hello. Ooh, it stinks in here. What smells in here? When you first walk in, it's like, where are the girls? Right there. OK. Hello, girls. Hi. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Good. I was like, who is coming uh, from this door? Let's see. Let me see the well-oiled machine. It's going to step on stage in the jazz category at Sheer Talent here in Phoenix. So let's take it from the top, pull out. The moms continue to accuse me of abandoning the team. What, because I'm busy? Because I have other priorities now? Don't they realize that if I've done my job in the first three, four years with this junior league competition team, then they should be on autopilot. They should be able to walk in that room, warm up, and stretch. They should be able to take choreography and take instruction from any other teacher in my school. and. They should look amazing. Nice. Now, girls, when you step out on that stage, I want you to be what people expect you to be, right? You guys work together like a well-oiled machine, especially on weeks when I'm not here, when I have a business to run, and I have things to do, and I have battles to fight. You need to be that well-oiled machine that the Abby Lee Dance Company created. nervous for this competition than I have been the other ones, because this isn't only Kalani's hometown. This is Bryn's, and she has something to prove here by beating Kalani. 
She has to prove that she is good enough to be on this team permanently, whether Maddie is here or not. Where is, where is Kalani? She has a solo. That stresses me out. Well, you know, a new baby. <laughs> Throw a monkey wrench into anything. But she always gets special treatment. Here you guys doesn't know care. It. It's obvious. <laughs> she, she still doesn't care. She doesn't care. care. <laughs> she well, still she doesn't care. care. Have you heard from her? Did she say, sorry, I'm running late? Did she send anyone No, text? she didn't text me, and Kalani didn't text me either. That's a little which... weird. I don't, I have no say. I don't know. I don't care if she walks in five minutes before she's on. Kalani is 15. She pulls your age up every time she dances in the group. When Kara's around, she can't get her on time. She's not even in California with her kid. Ashley must be really nervous for today because she's telling everybody all the reasons why Kira and Kalani should leave and her and Bryn should stay. As much as I like Kalani, Kira does not care about this. She's just sitting on her ass at home. And we're all working our asses off, and she's getting the benefits of it. You're working your asses off? Uh, yeah, it's not easy, OK? And you know it. <laughs> well, we were just saying that we were all on time, and you're a little late. I didn't realize that um, having to pump milk for the day and get the baby all settled and no, I know. <laughs> we know, but listen, was the no one said thing. that the hardest job it's in the world is years. being a mother. <laughs> and we all are, and we've all done it. It's been eight years, so you, you forget. She's never cared. That's the reality. Guess what? I've I've said a thousand times about me being here, and they all know it. <laughs> so then why are you here? Then we all know. Because Kalani wants to be here. Bryn wants to be here, and I have to be here, and I show up and I work hard. She gets all the benefits, and she gets to sit home. You're a manipulator, you're a user, you're a liar, and you know it. Everybody knows it. I, I don't really care what you think of me. I really don't. I don't care what you think. If I'm with three baby daddies and a criminal record, I could care less what you think about me. Just keep coming with them, Ashley. This is I what I mean. All day long. How this long do you is what her? I'm talking How about. Long do you want to say You're her? a real pathetic person. Pathetical isn't a word. I thought you had a master's degree. Did you not know that pathetical isn't a word, but you have a master's degree? You can sit here and say all you want, Ashley. Sit there with your liposuction and your plastic surgery and your tummy tuck. Oh my gosh! Just go home. You don't want to be here. Just go home. Nobody wants you here. Go. I'm not here to play your games. I know you start cussing when you really don't Do know what to say. Do you want to let her sit here and play her games? I'm not playing games. Fine. No, Kira, don't no, go. I'm Please don't go. Please don't go. If you want to sit here and let her play her games, then you can. You all. She's a bitch, well, and I'm not maybe. gonna sit here and allow her to play her game. So go yourself. This is why she's a pathetic piece of This is not the time for Ashley to bring up old issues with Kira. We already have a checked out Abby. We do not need these moms fighting. We're supposed to be a well-oiled machine, and it's not gonna work if these two moms don't lay off of each other. Oh, I know it's up. okay. I'm fine. Please don't let no, her push you No, but I'm not doing You've this. You've been under so I'm much pressure. I'm not doing this. She's pushed and pushed I'm and pushed. I'm not doing this. Yeah, but I'm not playing the game. I know. This is not why I'm here. I'm going home. No. What, what happened? happened? You know how she is. She's Ashley? being fake. She's being desperate. I'm not playing the games. You're way better than so, she'll ever be. She's yeah, but exactly. And I'm not playing the games. It just sucks that somebody else comes in and they're not even on the team, and you're the one who's leaving. This is an amazing story. I know it is. She's, she's, the, the, she's the, the Arizona today. star. So freaking amazing. I'll watch her. But I'm not dealing with her. Like, I'm not. Ashley needs to learn. Kira and Kalani are on the team. Bryn and Ashley are not. So I hope Kalani Solo is going to put Ashley in her place. Coming up next, entry number 78, Arizona star.
go, Ashley. That's what a true ALD dancer looks like. You can run your mouth with lies all you want, but Kalani just shut you up on the dance floor. Entry number 73, <laughs> Mystical Beauty. Entry number 73, Mystical Beauty. Whether Maddie is here or not, Brynn is an asset to this team, and she's going to prove it to Abby and the team by going out and winning the solo. Bryn was amazing. She went out there and showed off her fabulous technique, her amazing emotion, and I think she showed everybody who the real Phoenix star is. Kendall, where are the earrings? Where's your costume? Kira came through with the costumes. They look great. They work perfectly for the number. So despite no support from Abby, we do have costumes. Perfect. OK. How we doing, ladies? Good? OK. Yeah. OK, but. OK, stop. Back up. T t t wait. It's the shorts are all different. And you can, it's blatantly obvious that they're all different. Abby, that's all we have. I think we have to make it work. Put the black leotard on, and then put the crop top over the leotard. At this point, Abby is picking apart the costumes because she is so mad that we took matters into our own hands. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What if we put that burgundy skirt on underneath the suspenders, but over the shorts? Look in here and see if they're shorts. Yeah, take the leotard off, put the new shorts on. I don't care how they fit, just put them on. Honestly, the costumes are what, five points of the dance? I mean, why don't we focus on the dance itself rather than the costume? I pride myself on making my dancers look good on stage. Well, you know what, Abby? This could have been done days ago. There's no need for this. OK, well. If you don't feel your child can dance and handle all this pressure, it's OK. We can reblock it. No, nope, that's not my point. My point is, you were not here to do your job this week. We all know it. I'm just voicing it. And I think the girls want to dance, and now they're getting sidetracked because you're focused on this costumes instead of the dance. Whoa! You are making this whole costume thing my fault. It is that's your right. fault. You didn't bring costumes. You didn't show up to do your job. You brought costumes that have booty shorts that you can see every line in. They have Great! You're messing them up and flustering them. No one else is. You are, because you don't do your job. Stupid. You don't even know what you have. Abby is upset and angry about our costumes. Well, newsflash, we're angry that you can't show up. We're angry that you can't get dressed. We're angry that everything else is more important than these girls right now. The entire week, Abby has not been around. We had to go to a different studio. We had to get our own costumes. It's so important that we rise up and we can prevail through any of Abby's erratic behavior. Entry number 75, well-oiled machine. Entry number 75, well-oiled machine. This has been a really tough week for everybody involved. 
I just hope and pray that the girls are not affected by Abby's behavior. They need to get out there and be perfect and win. ringer this week, but the well oil machine worked. Went on stage, did its job, and it drove off. They were great. I just hope it's enough to win here in Arizona. Are you ready? You had a good time today? Let's do the high score. Can we get a drum roll? For years, Kira has lied and manipulated to get Kalani ahead. And today's the day that it's all going to catch up with her. Kalani's not going to place higher than Bryn. And that's going to prove that Bryn's a valuable member of this team, whether Maddie is here or not. So for the overall high score solo duo trio, first place goes to. Entry number 74. <laughs> Ashley came in saying Bryn always wins, Bryn's the best, her technique's better than everybody. You know what? She didn't place. So learn a lesson, Ashley. You can't always win. There's always someone better. So next we have overall high school group. This has been a really tough week for our girls. They've showed up, they've worked their butts off, which is more than I could say about Abby. So no matter what happens today, I'm very proud of them. Second place. Entry number 66, Firestone. Woo! And the first place goes to... Entry number 75, Well Old Machine. Yeah! I'm so happy the girls won first place. We're in Phoenix. This is a hard competition. They won with Gianna's help and the mom's support, not with Abby's help. Abby, we did it without you. Girls, congratulations! 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 Why am I here? I didn't need to come. Don't you think you should lead by example? No, I don't. I'm not a dancer. I don't pretend to be one. I didn't ask you about that. I asked you no. about not showing up to class and then showing up and eating lunch in your car while the kids are in there working. That's not a good example. Well, do as I say, not as I do. Abby is too stubborn to admit she is messed up. 
Where do we go from here, Abby? Next week, are you going to be in the studio with when the kids show up? Unless Chuck runs me over. OK, good. So we got that hashed out. So does that mean Bryn will be on the pyramid if you're going to do it? Your seventh dancer, you finally got her. Well, Maddie's back. So I think Bryn is on probation. No, I'm not coming back as long as she's there. So if she stays, you're not coming back? You hate her that much? Yeah. Next on Dance Moms, the group routine. We're doing the seven deadly sins. Think of the seven deadly sins. Every single one of them applies to one person in that room. Maddie. You're here now. This should be better than ever. You're just rushing through. Why did you not watch Maddie on The Ellen Show? You feel like you're jealous of her. You know what, Abby? You have problems that are not mine. Abby has to get her passion back. I sacrificed everything for your kids. I'm sick and tired of fighting.